All right, hello to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade here closely tracking the tropics because even though we are into the final month of hurricane season, we've still got a tropical storm, Raphael, spinning out there in the West Central Caribbean. Of course, so far for this season, we've had 17 named storms. That is above the norm. Out of those, 10 have become hurricanes, four have become major hurricanes. And of course, we started the season off with Alberto and we've made it all the way up to Raphael, which is a tropical storm in the West Central Caribbean Sea. So here is what you need to know about tropical storm Raphael. It is expected to become hurricane Raphael either tonight or on Wednesday. It likely will impact the Cayman Islands where we have hurricane warnings in place. And we've also got hurricane warnings for western portions of Cuba. So likely rolling over the Cayman Islands and Cuba the next couple of days before reaching the Gulf of Mexico. So I know a lot of you may be concerned if this makes it into the Gulf. Is it heading towards Houston? Well, the cone for the last 24 hours has kind of been all over the place, but it looks like we are starting to get more agreement with the computer models and the latest models are taking Raphael for the most part towards the Louisiana Gulf Coast this weekend and it is making landfall likely near or just south of Baton Rouge and south of New Orleans. So we will be closely keeping an eye on Raphael, but here it is currently spinning off just to the west and northwest of Jamaica. You can see Kingston, Jamaica there. Here is uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic back over here. And of course we've got Cuba. So it is rolling over the Cayman Islands, likely this evening, tonight, tomorrow morning, and then heading towards the western tip of Cuba as we go into the end of the work week. That's where we have hurricane warnings currently in place. So a lot going on with Raphael. It is most likely going to be making a track to the north and west into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. In fact, here are some of those computer models, spaghetti plots, we call them. And you can see that the general idea is that most of these models are now taking Raphael up towards Baton Rouge, New Orleans. This particular model takes it over towards Mobile in southern Alabama, but none of these models bring it into Houston. There's a reason for that. We'll talk more about that a little later, but it does appear that it is good news for the Houston area. I don't think Raphael will be moving in our direction. Here's the latest with Raphael. Currently maximum sustained winds around 70 miles per hour. Pressure is continuing to fall and we've got Raphael picking up a little bit of speed now, now moving to the northwest around 15 miles per hour. And you can see it here off to the west, northwest of Jamaica and to the south of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So you see Hispaniola here. We've got Puerto Rico back over here and we will continue to have the potential for like I said, some hurricane force winds, several inches of rain impacting parts of the Cayman Islands and also the western portion of Cuba. So you can see that we've got the potential, as I said, for a lot of heavy rain, a lot of strong wind with Tropical Storm Raphael as it pushes over Cuba and as it pushes into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So you can see it pushing closer to the north central Gulf Coast as we go into this weekend. And as we get to 12 p.m. Sunday, it does weaken and likely slow down a bit. It runs into basically a more hostile environment out there in the Gulf of Mexico, slightly cooler waters, more upper level wind shear, and it's just not going to be able to sustain that category one or category two hurricane status. So we do think it will weaken back to a tropical storm. However, it is getting pretty close to that north central Gulf Coast by this weekend. Notice though that the official National Hurricane Center track does keep it off to the east of the Houston area, likely making landfall this weekend around the southeastern Louisiana Gulf Coast, maybe a little to the south of Baton Rouge, south southwest of New Orleans. So those are going to be some of the areas that could potentially be under that risk for several inches of rain and also some gusty wind. Like I said, the threat for hurricane force winds will be a little bit lower because we are expecting it to weaken. All right, our exclusive Fox model future cast showing Raphael beginning to push to the north and northwest, and it is going to be tracking into the eastern 
Gulf of Mexico after it rolls over Cuba. Notice by 10 a.m. Wednesday, it is right over that western tip of Cuba where we have hurricane warnings in place. By Thursday at 10 a.m., it is in the eastern Gulf of Mexico, staying away from Florida, but getting closer to that north central Gulf Coast. So I think by Friday night into Saturday morning, 12.30 a.m. Saturday, the exclusive Fox Model Futurecast does have Raphael making landfall very close to New Orleans, not far from Mobile. So this particular model is a little bit to the east of the official National Hurricane Center forecast, but you will see that it does not come towards Houston. One of the reasons we think that's going to happen is because we do have a front, cold front, that will be pushing through our area Friday into Saturday, so that would likely keep it just to the east of the Houston area. We're also monitoring another disturbance, another area of showers and storms. This is going to be in the southwestern Atlantic. This one has about a 10% chance to become a tropical system in the next 48 hours, 30% chance over the next seven days. And that area highlighted in yellow will be the area that we are monitoring for that possible tropical development. So that means central southeastern parts of the Bahamas could be dealing with a potential tropical system, but the risk right now is low for that happening at 30%. We've still got fairly warm waters out there in the Western Atlantic, Northwest Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. They're a little bit cooler than they've been most of the season, but upper 70s to low 80s. It's already been an above average season, 17 named storms, 10 hurricanes, that's above the average of seven, and four major hurricanes, that's above the average of three. We are into the final month of our hurricane season. So generally, tropical cyclone development really starts to go down. However, the areas highlighted in yellow would be those areas that we could still see a little something in the form of a tropical depression, tropical storm, or hurricane. So we do have the rest of November to get through. Hopefully things will not come towards Houston right now. It looks like Raphael will stay to our east. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.